Thank you for joining us on day three for devotions here in the farm room. Uh, what I love about the classrooms at the new Foundry building is we put teams together to uh, a designer, kind of an artist and a carpenter. And we said, go and make a classroom kids would love to be in. You've seen the castle. This is the farm room and there's a number of other amazing rooms out there uh, for our kids when we finally move into this new space. So yeah, thanks for joining us as we do devotions right here in the farm room. Uh, let's jump in and talk about um, this devotion in Holy Week as we approach Easter out of the book of Job. Now, I know Job is not a book you would normally think Easter, let's read Job, but Job is a wonderful book. It's one of the oldest books in the Bible, and it's the story of a man who, was, um, who had his life absolutely destroyed. His life was destroyed beyond recognition. He was a wealthy man. He had influence, he had power, he had tons of livestock, he had a large family, he had a lot of prestige. And uh, Satan, the accuser, came to God. It, it's, it's important to note in this, Job was also a righteous man. He loved God and he worked hard to serve him. So one day Satan, the accuser, came to God and he said to him, you know, the only reason Job loves you, I'm paraphrasing here, but is the only reason he loves you is because you give him everything he wants. Strip away his power, prestige, wealth, family, and all this, and he will curse you to your face. So God allowed Satan to strip everything away, his wealth, his livestock, his prestige, um, his influence, his children, even his health. And Job did not curse God. It's a wonderful kind of um, understanding for Job because he was mindful that God is holy and God is he is above him and he can't understand God's ways are higher than his. So Job didn't curse God and he knew that he couldn't really reason with God as he would with uh, another man. God was perfect, he was righteous, he was holy. And Job lamented that he wouldn't really be able to reason this out with God. He knew this, God's ways are higher than our ways. And his ways, well, our ways are foolish. Our wisdom is foolish in comparison to him. Job understood this. In the passage we're going to read today, Job is pleading about this very issue between him and God. And he says, He's not a mere mortal like me that I might answer him, that we might confront each other in court. If only there were someone to mediate between us, someone to bring us together, someone to remove God's rod from me so that his terror would frighten me no more. Then I would speak up without fear of him. But as it stands with me, I cannot. In that passage, Job was revealing the cry of every human heart. Our sinful nature, the way we are from birth, separates us from God. That separation is an insurmountable chasm. There's no way for a human to plead their case before God. There's no way for a human to approach the throne of God. There is no way except for Jesus. Jesus is the way. Jesus is Emmanuel, God with us. The Son of God put on flesh and dwelt among us. He became the mediator. The rod of punishment meant for us was placed upon Jesus. The wrath of God was poured out on Jesus so that we may approach the throne of grace. We are so thankful for this and we are so mindful of this this week. And I want to take a chance and invite you to come back tomorrow night um, to the Foundry Live YouTube channel at seven o'clock. We are going to be celebrating the, our Monday Thursday service. Monday Thursday is the night where we remember Jesus having the Last Supper with the disciples and the night he was betrayed. We've put together something special to help give you a better picture or a, or a closer understanding of what it means that Jesus took our place. And so we would love to have you join us tomorrow night at seven o'clock. We're also gonna be celebrating communion once again. And since we're not together, uh, we get to have communion in our homes. And it, it was amazing how meaningful that was for all of us as families to do this. Uh, I, it was neat, I got one comment from a trucker who said, I had um, sparkling water and a cashew. And I was like, I just think that honors God that we take it seriously. And it's not about, do we have the perfect elements? It's the posture of our hearts. And we're doing this this weekend in rem or this Thursday in remembrance of what Jesus Christ did on this Monday, Thursday service. Like Erica said, 7 p.m. Join us on the live stream.